Hi guys, are you having trouble making round lights in Lumion? This is the right video for you, cause today I'm gonna teach you how to make round lights in your render. So I have here a round mirror and I, I wanted to have a round lights around this mirror and I'm gonna introduce to you later how to make it. But first and foremost we need to check the Lumion options like from the this light options we'll try to click the place button and then we'll have to check if there is available or any available round lights from here as we can see we cannot find any round light option so we're gonna do it another way okay so first we need to prepare our model from our preferred 3D software. In my case, I have my SketchUp model right here. I'm gonna introduce to you several ways to make round lights in your object. Okay, so first one, I wanted to introduce to you the LED light in front of the mirror. Nowadays, we can buy this type of mirror in the market, so I wanted to show you how to make a round lights from this one. I wanted to check this uh, material. I have here the immersive one material in the front of my mirror. This will become a LED light in the Lumion. So I've already exported this one. So let's go to the Lumion model. So from here I have the round mirror and then I wanted to change the material of the immersive one so just click from this materials option and click the immersive one if you are first timer in the material library it looks like this so just double click the standard option and then from here you can choose the color that you want and after you select the color you can click the arrow down to show more options and then from this one at the settings you will find the emissive option so just click and drag to try as you can see the LED light pops out from the front of the mirror and we'll have to check this one and the movie so first click the checked option meaning you are already done with the settings from the lower right corner and then click movie and try to preview the render of this one as we can see it from here it's too much light so we need to go back to the build and then Click once again the immersive one and try to reduce the immersiveness of this uh, material. I'm gonna go with the 30. I think 30 is uh, enough. Just double click from this bar. You can manually type the amount that you want. Like for example, double click, double clicking from here and then delete the uh, previous quantity and then type your own quantity like for example 30 then checked and then go back to the movie and we'll check the immersiveness of the light as we can see it's almost perfect from here this is the first option that I wanted to introduce to you so what if we don't have the LED light in front of the mirror and the LED light was behind the round mirror so we need to change the material from our preferred 3d software so let's go to my sketchup and then we'll need to change the immersive one material to the same as the mirror and now they are the same from here uh, this round line around the mirror 
we'll try to offset this line like for example click the line and then click offset so we'll try to offset this one at about uh, 10 millimeter 0 0.01 okay now we'll have to change this one to different material we'll change it to emissive 2 like for example this one and now we'll have to try to export once again export to the model So here I've already re-imported my uh, 3D model. As we can see, we can find it here the the new material that we have added from our SketchUp model. So just click here the materials and then select the emissive two. From here we can select once again the color that we wanted and then go to settings and adjust the emissiveness of the material just like that we'll have to try to adjust it up to like for example at about 50 and then checked and go to the movie to see the preview of the render as we can see it looks nice right now but there's a little bit of uh, diffuse light from this mirror and now the other method that we can do is that we're going to edit these renders into the Photoshop in order for us to create a very very nice mirror from this render okay so at first we need to render this this view with the LED light at the back of the mirror go to just render the clip then just check the material ID just select the material ID map and then print let's uh, write this one as mirror now it's done next we need to render with the lights off behind the mirror so what we can do here we'll try to copy the material from the wall copy and then let's paste it in the emissive 2 just like that and then checked go to movie and now once again we will render this image without the LED light behind the mirror render once again it's done we have here the two different types of render the one with the LED light behind the mirror and the other one we turn off the light behind the mirror and now let's try to edit this render into Photoshop and now I've already opened the rendered image in my Photoshop will also open the material ID the material ID from the image with a backlight and then we also open up the image without the LED backlight and now we'll copy this uh, image into the uh, file with the backlight and paste it here also this one copy and paste it here so now first we'll try to select the material ID 
and then go to the magic wand tool then select the mirror and now you can zoom in into the selected material to double check the selection if it's good or not and then after we select the mirror we'll have to feather the selection like for example one pixel and then click OK and now to select the layer and then select the layer without the LED backlight and then just click the mask at the bottom and now as we can see it's already very clear unlike the the last time we have the see the difference see the difference of the mask image and without the mask and now we can refine the image by uh, reselecting the mirror so shift and control D and now that it's reselected we'll go to select and then modify let's contract the selection at about 4 pixels and then press OK as you can see it's already a little bit offsetted from the original selection and now we'll try to feather this one at about um, let's say 4 pixels also press OK and now we'll try to invert the selection and then click the brush and then at around um, I think 25% opacity then press enter and now let's begin brushing around the mirror to make it more realistic and a little bit of glow around the mirror and now if you're done just uh, deselect the image control D and then here is the before and after we edit the round light from here you can refine the image by editing some of the other materials and here is my final image that's it guys and if you find this video helpful to you please consider to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more updates thank you so much bye bye